All right, so we'll uh, cover the uh, uh, air intake on, uh, on the SLC. It's pretty pretty straightforward. Now on, on mine, I'm, I'm, most guys put the put the air intake uh, to, to the back, um, just because there's a lot of room back there, and most most uh, intakes uh, that actually that actually works the best. Um, you can use that real estate; it still fits underneath underneath the um, uh, the rear deck. Um, I had the bright idea to use the uh, Holly High Ram here, and that's uh, really a factor of well, one, it looks cool, um, but um, more importantly, it, uh, it it goes well with with the motor since this this one's built to to rev uh, up to a little over eight eight grand, um, and that's that's just really a factor of I like that because it's fun, um, and it actually goes well with the factory gearing on the Graziano transaxle. Um, but anywho, that so that that was a big factor in a lot of the a lot of the layout here. Um, um, so rather than take the air from the back, which would mean it would, it, it sticks out a tiny bit, surprisingly, just a tiny bit through the other uh, window, just this back part here. If I had flipped it, the, this, the stock way, it would have stuck out a lot. Um, so, so I decided to go this way. It's, it just looks a bit cleaner to me. Um, but that allowed me to do a bunch of different stuff. The one was, um, um, you can see down here the uh, uh, the AC compressor is actually in the valley, um, which when you run a dry sump in one of these setups with a, with an SLC, you don't have a lot of room to put a to put the uh, the AC compressor, so it fits perfectly in there. Um, I just uh, made a bracket to uh, to fit it in there. Um, but anyway, and I, I welded up this. Uh, no comments about my terrible welding job here, but it's it's uh, it's sealed. Um, so I welded up an elbow into the front of the uh, of the manifold um, to to bring it up at a ninety degree. Um, this the the frame. Or sorry, the um, roll bar is not bolted on right now since the the roll cage isn't in right now. But um, so it clears clears that obviously. Uh, so it comes down at a it's like a thirty degree ish angle, uh, thirty forty degree angle down um, into the throttle body here. Um, so that's a, uh, Nick Williams 105, 102, sorry, um, uh, into a, a 45-ish um, bend uh, silicone uh, tube. Um, and sorry, I made this, this is all out of 5-inch. Um, uh, um, so I went went oversize again just to, you know, just to be safe um, um, since I've got a few bends in here. So then... Uh, Goes into another, another just straight shot of five inch. Uh, this is also where the um, airflow uh, meter. You can kind of see the, see it welded in over here. Um, that's where that's mounted, and that goes into a ninety. Um, there, where my handle fit. Um, then just out into this, uh, this pipe here, which then takes it into uh, the K and N filter. Right, right in front of the wheels. There, surprisingly, there is room, um, barely, um, uh, and, and I've got the um, uh, the inner fender liners that'll go in there to make sure it doesn't get any crap from the from the wheels. So this this goes directly behind the uh, side vent of uh, uh, from the body. So that's it for the uh, air intake.